to the weekend sports buzz. Kelly Patrick here, Tyler Boyd, brought in with a little Super Bowl shuffle there. I was confused at what that was at first. I was trying to figure it out then as soon as I heard it. Oh, okay. 1985 Bears. Um, we also have our man on uh, from Scout.com, Ryan Ellerbush. How are you doing this morning, Ryan? I'm doing pretty good. I definitely knew what that Super Bowl shuffle was right when you turned it on because I'm a Packer fan. So I'm going to be looking more forward, I think, to this Marquette game, Louisville more than the Super Bowl tonight. But thanks for having me on, guys. Glad well, to be on the show. Glad to have you on. We appreciate you coming on. Again, like Kelly mentioned, it's Ryan Ellerbush from MarquetteHoops.com, a scout.com a partner, contributor. We're glad to have you on. Obviously, we're here to talk today's Louisville Marquette game at 2 o'clock here at the Yum Center. I know, Kelly, you're, we talked about it leading into this segment. It's going to be a good game. Um, what do you I guess? Let's just get into a little bit of Marquette here first. Fifteen and four, they're ranked number twenty-five. Uh, I think Kelly just mentioned one of their perfect scores, Vander Blue, is coming off a thirty-point game. Marquette's a talented team. Uh, Ryan, tell us a little bit about them. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, Vander Blue coming off a career high thirty points. He's really been kind of the the go-to guy for them. Really, the guy who's making them click on the floor. Um, they've been looking pretty good. You know, only four four losses this year. Three of them have been by five points or less. Um, you know, they're really doing their thing out on the court. Um, they're working it down low to their big man, Devontae Gardner, who's going to be going up against Georgie Dang tonight, so that'll be a fun uh, matchup to watch. But Marquette's really looked good in the Big East. Um, not a lot of people thought that they would do a lot, but they've really, I think, surprised some people, and they have a lot of momentum um, under Buzz Williams again this season. Ryan, I know Mar it looks like Marquette has about 10 guys who average 10 minutes per game or more. Uh, you know, the guys that we're real familiar with are obviously Junior Cadugan, Vander Blue. Trent Lockett, who's a transfer in. True. Uh, also, we know of Todd Mayo. It doesn't look like yeah. Mayo's really even contributing um, that much right now. Um, who does, you know, you mentioned Gardner. Who does Gorgie Jang really have to worry about underneath? I see that this guy Chris O'Toole had four blocks last game. Um is anyone going to really be able to hang with Gorgie? Yeah, like you said, I mean, the 10 minutes a game, Buzz Williams really likes, they call it almost hockey line changes. He's stepping guys in and out so much. Um, Chris O'Toole will start the game. He's Marquette's 6-11 center. He won't do too much. I mean, he'll, you know, block a few shots here and there, but Marquette really down low gets most of their production from their big man, Devontae Gardner. And he's, you know, the big dude. He's shooting 88% from the free throw line this year. He's really been a, a good bright spot um, for Marquette down low. It seems that Marquette likes to slow it down a little bit. You know, they're, re they're not the best rebounding team in the country. Everybody knows that, and they're not the highest scoring team out there. But, you know, I've watched them play uh, in, in games. I, I did watch the Florida game. I really kind of take that out as a wash. It was one of those performances they just really weren't ready. It was, it was just ugly. But, you know, the win against Wisconsin, it was, I saw a little bit of that. It was a good game. Beat a, and one, I think Connecticut is a decent team in overtime. And, of course, obviously, they just beat uh, Georgetown Kelly. Who everybody knows, you know, it's a good. And my, I like Georgetown. Yeah, they've won eight to nine. I mean, Marquette is clearly, uh, you know, Gorgie actually came out and said he thinks they're the best team in the Big East right now, and they do have the best record in the Big East. So I mean, they're a very strong team right now. Ryan, I want to ask you, um, obviously, being that Marquette is a basketball only school with the conference realignment situation going on. Uh, being that, like I said, brass, basketball is really the bread and butter, you know, for your site, for everything. Um, what are your feelings about, I guess, the Catholic 7 and the realignment and how it will affect Marquette? Yeah, I mean, you definitely nailed it on the head. Marquette, huge basketball school. The entire campus, you know, just gets geared up for games. As far as the Catholic 7 goes, I mean, any time, I mean, leaving the Big East is going to be tough. Everybody knows that, you know, it's a great basketball Great basketball conference, a lot of great competition. Um, but for this, you know, the Catholic Seven, I mean, they're trying to bring in as many, you know, basketball only schools as possible. I think Marquette has a chance, you know, to be at the top of that conference, you know, going forth for years just because of their past history and their recruiting. Um, I think Marquette's, you know, really become a, a basketball powerhouse. And I'm, I'm hoping the Catholic Seven can. You know, once they do, once it does form, that it can really, you know, sustain over time and really, you know, build itself up as a good basketball conference. Uh, Ryan, I kind of I'm looking at your schedule here T today against Louisville. Big time game, obviously. You know, over the last couple of years, Marquette and Louisville have had some very, very good games. Everybody knows that. Number twelve. You know, they've already won two in a row, sitting at fifteen and four. Win this game today. 
you know, you're looking at South Florida, DePaul, Georgetown, Pitt, who they've already beat, Seton Hall, Villanova, very winnable games. You win today against Louisville, it could set Marquette up for a very good run heading into uh, the you know the Big East tournament and the conference, NCAA tournament. I'm assuming. Oh yeah, but you know those games with Louisville, they're always close. Yes, I remember that one in 2011. Oh man, when they blew that, what was it, 18 point deficit? You know, in the final six minutes, that was a tough loss. But I mean, Louisville's always a good team. They'll definitely give Marquette a tough battle. But if Marquette can beat Louisville, like you said, they've been on a you know great winning streak as of late, getting you know just big time overtime wins against teams. You know, winning in the last few seconds. Um, and I mean, just looking ahead to their schedule. I mean, Marquette, you know, they've played some of the tougher teams. Now they kind of have to, uh, you know, just take care of some of the easy ones. And they have the 25th ranking right now. If they can just, you know, keep winning to the end of the season, I think they should set up pretty well going into the NCAA tournament. Oh, yeah, for sure. Again, we have Ryan Ellers Bush, uh, MarquetteHoops.com, Scout.com contributor. Uh, you know, the schedule, I think it just sets up for Marquette, you know, big win, even win or lose today. It's still the schedule setting up for Marquette to make a run and, you know, a good seeding towards the NCAA tournament. Uh, I kind of. Wanted to ask you one more thing. What do you think the game plan against Louisville is today, and what you know, what do they need to do to get a win on the road? Well, personally, I think the number one um, key is going to be stopping uh, Payne Siva. That guy just seems to be a Marquette killer. Every year we play him, um, just have to force him, you know, to outside shots. Anytime he gets the ball going to the hoop, it's going to be a tough battle. And for Marquette, they really just got to have to get the ball out in transition. That seems um, to be what they've been, you know, doing best at, like you said before, Marquette's not the greatest rebounding team, and the games that Marquette has played and won, they've been, you know, breaking the press. Other teams like to play a 2-3 zone against them because their shooting percentage always isn't the greatest, but they somehow find a way to manage games, and as long as Marquette can break uh, Louisville's full court press, I think we should be in for a pretty pretty close game tonight. Yeah, I think, you know, he hit it right there, as Jimmy, Jimmy Dykes would say, right on the nail. One of my favorite, Jimmy Dykes. But uh, last question, kind of not has nothing to do with Louisville Marquette. Who do you think is going to win that Super Bowl again today? I know you're, you're a Packers fan. You ha- you've got to be a football guy. I know how it is up there in Wisconsin. Who do you think is going to win today? Uh, I'll, think, I'll take the 49ers to win. Um, Collar Ka- Kaepernick, uh, hometown Milwaukee. They knocked the Packers out of the Super Bowl or out of the playoffs, I mean. Yeah. I really don't have a preference who wins it, but I think the 49ers and uh, Coach Jim Harbaugh are going to are gonna take the Super Bowl. I, I think it'll be a fun game. I know everybody's excited for it. But Ryan, appreciate you taking a few minutes out of your morning. You can follow him on Twitter, at Ryan Ellersbush, E-L-L-E-R-B-U-S-C-H. Again, it's on Twitter, MarquetteHoops.com. We appreciate you taking a few minutes, my man. Thank you very much, guys. Thanks for having me on.